how many metrics should I include in compensation and reporting? How many ESG metrics is the, what is the right number? A lot of companies really focus on very few metrics. So they cherry pick a few of the key metrics to focus on. Uh, and this is something that we see as, as, as quite common. Uh, and that was one of the questions that we wanted to address because of course, while companies are focusing on just a few, we actually think that there's a potential to include many more ESG metrics when it comes to reporting and also from a compensation perspective. So you see that there's, there's a really wide space out there. Some topics are getting more attention than others, not because they're necessarily more important from one perspective or another, but uh, this is just representing what we see as uh, kind of the, where the focus is uh, from investors, shareholders, and the companies are placing their emphasis on. When we go to the next slide, you know, we see that uh, a lot of times people say ESG. Well, there's a sense that if I'm uh, focusing on these ESG criteria, I'm going to need to sacrifice uh, some of it. It's going to cost me. There's going to be a lot of investment. It's, it's a costly exercise. It's detracting me from my core business. And this is what we hear from some, from some companies, not all. Uh, but when you really look at these different categories, you can see that really the most of them do have an impact on your long-term profit. When we look at the compensation and how companies are building certain metrics into their compensation plans, we see that really the focus goes even closer onto very few metrics. So while the priorities are many, the opportunity is, is many, there is a lot of focus and that's not necessarily a bad thing. In the beginning, you really need to focus on certain topics and it's hard to manage a company by, by trying to do everything at once. Um, but what we see is that companies are really focusing on very few metrics. Um, and I think our message here is, you know, there's a few things. One is that uh, there are so many metrics out there. And even though now on this graph, we've uh, shown where they appear in the different topics, they, they are only covering still one aspect. So when we look at emissions, this may not, even though that's included in the compensation plan, uh, it may not uncover all kinds of emissions. Even within emissions, we have a number of different metrics that you could be looking at. Um, so just because a topic is covered doesn't mean that that topic is ticked off um, in its entirety. It's really just one aspect of that topic that's being included. So I think that's one point. The second one is that the metrics that have been included don't necessarily reflect the company's strategic priorities. So the metrics that have been selected, uh, and obviously there are a few different aspects that go into the selection of the metric, but I think very much uh, we see that they are being driven primarily by pressure from uh, investors and shareholders to focus on uh, really these topical issues we see an opportunity to closer align them with a company's strategic priorities and really include a bit of a broader reporting to tell a broader story uh, also to these investors and shareholders. Um, and I think the last one is that, you know, at the moment, climate and diversity is very topical. These priorities may change over time. And the more metrics you include aligned to your priorities, I think the better positioned you are to also respond to future interest and future um, uh, uh, topics that may become uh, more relevant 